Hi, everybody, uh, and welcome to the VMware uh, Partner Exchange 2010. Well, actually, yeah, I know you've been here for a while. C can you give me a round of applause? Yeah, welcome to me. That's sweet. All right. Well, I want to say to the, all the partners who are here today, VMware won't be successful without its channel partners selling their butts off. 85% of VMware is sold through channels. I think someone already told you that already. We're done. We're not going to the moon anymore. Where are we going now? Cloud. <laughs> Exciting. I don't know if it's better than the moon or not, but VMware is uh, helping us all on our migratory journey to the cloud. That's what I heard this morning. We're all going to migrate to the cloud. First brand that told me they're going to fix the uh, renewals process, then we're going to the cloud. <laughs> Um, so, um, kind of first things first, uh, people will be able to rebuy what they already have, then <laughs> cloud, right? Is it just us? I feel foolish now, don't you? <laughs> Writing that check every month, well, honey, we have to pay the mortgage, you know? There's no way around this. Meanwhile, everybody else is just like, mortgage, throw that in the trash. Um, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? I feel like what went wrong was they gave the stimulus money to the banks, and they, shouldn't have, they should have given it more, because the banks are the people who lost the money in the first place, and now they gave more money, and they're like, what happened? Bonus time. Um, <laughs> I feel like if we do more stimulus, next time what we do is we blow it out of the back of trucks driving through downtown, because that way we've all got a chance at the stimulus money. Right, when it's blowing out of the truck, on stimulus day, you take a day off work, on stimulus, or maybe you pick the fastest runner in your family to take the day off work. <laughs> and you go downtown, and you chase the stimulus truck. That way, you've all got a shot. All you need are some good running shoes and a nice bag for your stimulus money. And I don't know about you, but that money, as far as I'm concerned, will go right back into the economy. You would feel it, right? I don't know what your fiscal policy is, but any money that I find that blows off the back of a truck, I spend that. Here, ladies and gentlemen, Vice President of uh, America's Channel Sales, Brandon Sweeney. Let's bring him out. Thanks, Thank you, Jake. Hey, I really apologize for being late. I apologize. Is it good that Jake sat, sat in for me? Should we have him be part of our executive channel council? Now, Jake's going to be in the front row, and he'll give us some of his additional remarks and comments in a few minutes. So stay tuned for a little uh, mental exercise halfway through the program. Should we have Jake come back up and give us some perspective? Is it now the right time? All right, Jake, come on up. Okay, th thank you, Brent. Oh, yeah. My music. Yeah, yeah, there it Sweet. goes. There it goes. Yeah, that's nice. I'm, I'm one of the few people who has a theme song. Um, yeah, Brandon, I just had a couple of showbiz notes. I mean, I don't really know anything about virtual machines. I made that clear. But sh were you being punished for something um, by being forced to sit on stage the whole time? Because it was kind of like, you are going to sit up here until you learn this, young man. So just a note on the CEO photo in the future maybe a picture where the guy doesn't look like he's on vacation. Mm -hmm. And chargeback was an interesting concept. I didn't realize that that doesn't mean you're actually going to charge people for things. It's just a way that you can say, like I do that with my wife, where I say, this is what it costs to do what you're doing, just so you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can't control it, but I can say, this is what it costs. I thought it was interesting that selling hardware, you make more money selling, uh, m you have a bigger margin selling virtual machines than actual machines. Hmm. Um, anyway, uh, then uh, Mike, uh, this is, this, Mike uh, Clavo was my favorite. I, if I had to pick a favorite, um, just because he's uh, mass customizing our sales motion so that he can supercharge our revenue. Otherwise, we'd just be teaching cats to bark up empty trees. And uh, we've got to fish where the fish are when we quit barking at the cats. And he's going to help us get our poles ready. But we're also going to get baits and nets and a boat. And then we're going to pull the trigger. Um, I, I just I don't understand how General Motors can go out of business. I, 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 the C, uh, the, uh, now the CEO has resigned. And I feel like that's fair enough. Because I, what does he get paid to run General Motors in the ground? $10 million a year plus bonuses? I feel like. This is not bragging, but I could have done it for half that. Um, so keep that in mind going forward. If you need me to run your company in the ground, I am available. And uh, now I'd like to turn it back over to you, Brandon. Thank you so much for having me today.